Good morning, Matt here from West Coast Shavings Daily Shave video series. And for today's Daily Shave, I'm gonna be using and reviewing a new brush from West Coast Shaving. This is the Honeycomb brush. The soap today is gonna to be Fern Concerto by Holy Cow with menthol. This is the uh, donkey milk version. And the razor today is my Blue Steel Special Kinfolks razor. It's an American vintage razor, 5 eighths, uh, made in the 1950s. And I'm just gonna load out of my lathering bowl, Pereira lathering bowl, unbreakable, made out of plastic. It's a plastic composite. So with that, I'm gonna whip the face and get started. So I, I showered a few hours ago, so I'm just gonna load into my bowl and do a face lather. That way it'll prep my beard at the same time. And I'm just gonna scoop out about a teaspoon. Put it in my bowl. Okay. Press it down. Just like that. And I've been soaking this brush. I'm just gonna wet it and then shake it out, give it two good shakes. And then just start loading with back and forth motion. So this brush, it's uh, a resin brush and it has this really cool honeycomb pattern as you can see. Uh, the knot is a 26 millimeter um, three band finest. So it's the same knot that they use in the, the same badger knot as the knot used in the um, infinity brush. But it will also come in synthetic knot as well. And the shape of the handle, it's the same size and shape as the ancient stone collection brush. And just like that, I've already got a nice dense lather here forming. Um, I'm just gonna add a little more water to the bowl, about a teaspoon. It'll help me load the soap into the bristles. Now I'm fully loaded here. So the knot on this brush, this is their three band finest. Um, it's a mix of very soft jelly type tips. And then some of the tips, there's a little bit of scritch to it as well. So it's like, almost like a mixed knot is what it feels like on my face. And I think with a knot like this, it's a matter of preference. And I do appreciate uh, a little bit of scritch so similarly, a knot that feels close to this is the Simpsons and their Super Badger. Even though it's a soft knot, it also feels like there's a little bit of scritch to it, which to me is just the right amount. Now this one, this knot is very dense, but it's set high enough where it splays very easily. but it also releases the lather well. And another feature of the knot is they develop this knot where there's no glue bump. So the bump is very low, low profile, and it's in the handle. 
So you can really splay it well and you can really release that lather well. So I'm just gonna add a little more water to the lather, to the face of the brush. Paint it in. And now splay the brush. This thing really very easily builds a lather. Ooh, a little too much water in the brush. And I like the size and shape of the handle. I have this really cool color pattern. And I know they're offering also uh, other colors, so it's gonna be offered in blue and white. At least those are the colors that I know about. I think my lather is where I want it to be. It's great. This soap has a beautiful scent and it's a nice cooling sensation on the face from the menthol. just to talk a little bit about the soap and the scent on the soap. So this is holy cow donkey milk version. So there's a more recent version with buffalo milk as well as donkey milk. But I still think this version holds up as one of the best soaps out there on the market today. And I think it only came out maybe two years ago. So if you get this one and not the Buffalo version, you're not gonna be disappointed. Scent on the soap is, I'd call it about a 7 out of 10 scent strength. And uh, to me, it's a very uh, citrusy and woody scent. So uh, it's an aromatic citrus, which means it has some spice to it, like cooking type herbs. So I think there's basil and rosemary in the scent over the top of the citrus, kind of the, like a lemony citrus. But there's also a woodiness. And it's really nice and refreshing scent, especially in the summer. So right now we're in the middle of a heat wave and it was 90 degrees today. And as you can see, I got a little bit of a sunburn yesterday. So this actually feels really good. The menthol is feeling good on my skin. So the scent, I don't know if it's a perfect dupe or not, but it's very close to me to the classic uh, Cologne Eau, Eau Sauvage by Dior. Came out in the 1960s.
And it's really a great scent for um, really any occasion. It's good for the work, good for summer, I think all seasons. Very crowd pleasing scent. Even though it's been around a long time, it doesn't seem old fashioned at all. Okay, now for my tip of the day. It was inspired by um, the last time I had a straight razor shave. So sometimes, even though I shave with a straight razor most of the time, I do like to occasionally get one, get a straight razor shave at the barber. My barber is one of the barbers who still does it. Uh, so if you have a barber who, um, who does a lot of straight razor shaves, it is unfortunately kind of a dying art among barbers. Sometimes you can do a better shave yourself but um, if you can find someone who does them a lot, uh, you can really learn a lot sometimes from these uh, old school barbers who know how to do straight razor shaves. So uh, today I wanted to talk about relaxation and stretching. So when you go to the barbers, you usually get the hot towel treatment, you're lying back, you're very relaxed, almost falling asleep while you're getting shaved. And it's not always easy to replicate that, um, you know, at home. So when you're shaving yourself, especially for someone who's new, I think um, the natural kind of reflex is to tense up as you're bringing a, the sharp edge to your face. Um, but if we can take a, like a, a hint from these, these barbers, and try to replicate that experience of getting shaved with the idea of trying to relax the face as much as possible while you're stretching. So um, stretch the skin, but relax the muscles, the facial muscles at the same time. And it's not something that's easy to do. Um, it's definitely uh, takes a little practice and takes a little focus. In some ways, it kind of reminds me a little bit of meditation. So there are types of meditation where you're trying to relax and relieve tension from different muscle groups. And you have to actively focus on that area to really um, relax it. So one of the things you can do is uh, to take a deep breath before you're about to shave an area. And then when you exhale, then shave the area. So that tends to be more relaxing. So you take a deep breath. That helps to relax the skin, relieve tension. Kind of like you're sh shooting a uh, foul shot in basketball. And I find when my, when the facial muscles are relaxed, I get a more comfortable shave. Just like you do when you go to a barber. And with also less chance of cutting. So really just try to totally relax the muscles of the face under that skin. Now, if you do tense up the skin, you might be able to get closer, that's true, like this. But you also run the risk of cutting. The more tense your the facial muscles are, the more likely you are to cut, in my experience. Another way you can accomplish it is by puffing the cheeks, so especially on the cheeks. 
because uh, when you do that, you're actually, your muscles are relaxed, but you're tensing the skin. So it's another way you can uh, keep the facial muscles relaxed. Another way you can uh, help with the relaxation of the facial muscles, trying to relieve that tension is while you're brushing. So while you're doing a face lather like this, you can concentrate on relaxing those muscles. So just let your cheek muscles go slack and you're gonna jiggle the fat on the face a bit. You're gonna jiggle the jowls but you're gonna also relieve some of that tension. So it does actually take some mental energy to really focus on relaxing your face. But if you can do it, I think it will pay off with a more comfortable shave. my third pass, I like to do shorter scrubby strokes. What's nice about holy cow soaps is I rarely have a reaction to the soap. My skin really likes the soap base. It's very, um, it's very mild. So especially I have this sunburn. helping me a lot here. Again, this area of my chin, right under this lap bottom lip, I'm pulling down, but just letting that bottom lip go totally loose. So that was a really nice shave. That menthol really is refreshing. I do have the matching toner. So this is the alcohol-free toner.
burn concerto. And with this, I don't really need to put on any moisturizer. At any rate, when the weather is about 95 degrees, you don't. I feel like I don't need to put on a moisturizer. This is nice, no burn, and I just get a nice cooling sensation. So that's my shave, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know, have you ever gotten a straight razor shave from a barber and did they help you with any technique? Have you learned anything? And there's the brush again, the honeycomb brush. As you can see, it says West Coast Shaving on it. And it has this really cool design. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you next time.